Silverstone Ranch or the Canyon County Prairie Homes. I've got Charlie who built this amazing home and he's with Blackstone Homes and we're gonna show you this incredible monster. How big is this ranch that this home sits on? So it's just under 50 acres. Um, a lot of a lot of cows and horses. They have three horses, about 30 30 cows. Um, she's big into horses, so. Whoa, dude, this is crazy. Man, how tall are these ceilings? Uh, so our standard height in our first floor homes is 10 foot. We, we don't ever go under 10 unless somebody asks us. Um, in the living room though, where the, where the vaulted mm -hmm. ceiling we have, the very top of it, we're at 19 and a half. 19 and a half, and I love the outdoor sconces that you have, the lighting. I mean, yeah, that, yeah. you don't see that. Yeah, so we, we like it, to, at Blackstone, we like to put a lot of emphasis on our lighting. Mm. Um, not necessarily super extravagant lighting packages that cost thousands and thousands of dollars but where we can we can do something a little bit different that client when they came in do you sit down with them and do kind of do the consult or do they kind of like send you their pinterest board um kind of a, a mixture of everything okay. uh it's a lot of it starts out with the pinterest boards okay. the instagram posts um where they they just send us the things that they like uh, but then, yeah, we definitely sit down, we go through a console, we, we talk about every room, um, what they want, whether when it comes to lighting, trim work, cabinetry, stone, uh, where they want it, how, you know, how high they want the stone to go. Yeah. Everything gets, gets talked about. For me as a builder, there are three things that make a home a home. It's the kitchen, your trim work, or your mill work, and your lighting throughout your house. Charlie, these beams here, I mean, you don't see this in houses at all. What, I mean, how did you come up with this? This is so unique. You could just sit here and look up, it's so beautiful. So we wanted to do something different. We knew we had a vaulted ceiling, but we didn't want it to be the same as every vaulted yeah. ceiling, with the ridge beam and a couple of legs coming down. We wanted to be able to continue those, those beams down to the floor. Um, mm -hmm. And with the layout that we had, we had to come up with something different for the other two. So we dyed these ones in the top of the cabinets, we're dying these ones into the top of our steel beam. Mm -hmm. and, and instead of just having that regular peak with the ridge beam, we, we brought it down and flattened it out and added the lighting like we like to do. Yeah, it's, it's so beautiful. Total square footage. Total square footage, we're just over, just under 7,200 square feet on the home. And then our garage, it's just under 4,200 square feet. So yeah, it's a- Garage. Yes, yeah. I it's, can't wait to take you in there. The monster is the correct term. <laughs> I mean, realistically, I mean, the whole house is the homeowner's vision and dream, but I think this spot was super important to him. He wanted to make this what it needed to be. Uh, Ex-college baseball player, kids are dedicated and mm -hmm. their life is sports. And so to be able to provide this for them was something that was important for him. Um, and as you can see, he's a huge, huge sports fan. Who did the mural? So 
The homeowner actually contacted him. His name is Sean F10 on Instagram. That's okay. his tag name. Shout out to Sean. He came in and and painted this out for us and dealt with the mess of construction because <laughs> uh, we actually yeah we painted this not first thing but yeah right after drywall pretty much we had to protect it the whole time wow i mean this is so i mean it's year round it's indoor i mean you're never affected by the weather yep incredible and who doesn't love jordan <laughs> What I love about this area, Charlie, is it's an extension of the family room. Yeah. So the family can be out here, you know, adults can be here having a conversation around the fire, kids, you know, cannonballing into the pool. And it just creates, it extends that living space. And then you've got the outdoor grill and everything right around there. I mean, who wouldn't want this? A lot of people want to do the new builds and but there's hang-ups you know where's the right lot can i build on this lot we've done a video about what to watch for when buying land charlie here has lots available or knows of lots Correct. we can help you find lots as well so if you want charlie to come in and do you an amazing home what size homes do you span so the size homes for us it's really it's dictated by hoas uh, we'll build as small as you want and as big as you want. We don't have a limitation, so. All right, so you are unlimited based off of Charlie's capabilities, but limited based off of the HOA. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Charlie's information down below with his Instagram and uh, his contact information so you can reach out to him and kind of you know pick his brain a little bit. I'll put our information down below um, so you can kind of get in touch with us so we can help bridge that gap. But man, you know, on average for someone who's thinking about moving to Idaho, maybe they wanna come up and secure land. What is the average like build timelines? It's, it's really crazy, every build is different. Uh, on average, we're around eight months for a build from broken ground to, to moving in. So when it comes to building, especially when you're on acreage like this, you're going to have to put a well in, you're going to have to get a sept septic going. What is the average cost or ballpark for something like that? So are we talking like? Uh, we've been between, I think, 16 and 34. Like it, okay. It's a, it's a pretty. That's a big. The depth is, yeah. the, is the very. Okay. We're usually between fifteen and and twenty two thousand or so on our septics right now. Okay. You know, working with Charlie, do they just go through the bank at, at what you know just a standard construction loan through their local bank? Is that how? We do it both ways. We we do it several ways. So uh, the way we like our we like to get our clients to go to the bank and get their own construction to permanent loan. Okay. Uh, we have people that we refer them to if they don't know where to go. A lot of people come to us with their own banks um, and are ready to go. Uh, but we do also have in-house in financing that we can provide as well. Perfect. Now let's take you through the rest of this amazing property.
Okay, I just personally wanted to thank the Canyon County Printed Homes, the homeowner of this beautiful home, and of course, Charlie. If you guys want to get in touch, get going, get to Idaho, make this dream a possibility. We can make this as seamless and smooth as possible for your relocation to Idaho. Sometimes I'm really brave, and that just means that I'll try again tomorrow. It's my day.